I'm Charles Deju. I'm a former Republican congressman, former Republican leader of the Hawaii State House of Representatives. I'm an Afghanistan war veteran and have been long active in GOP politics. But I'm abandoning Donald Trump. His selfish, unfocused, undisciplined style of leadership is not only unhealthy for the Republican Party, it is damaging to our American democracy. I am abandoning Trump because I have long believed that America's strength lies in our nation's diversity, not its exclusion or isolation. We are a nation of immigrants and benefit from a national fabric woven with the threads of many people, of many backgrounds and cultures, all united in the common belief of American liberty. And that's why I champion immigration reform as a congressman. It disturbs me that under Donald Trump, the GOP and conservative movement is now defined as a party hostile to immigration. We as a nation are the leader of the free world, not because we are great or need to be great again, but because we are good. I've always supported robust international diplomacy and free trade. As a congressman, I've advocated for the passage of the free trade agreement with South Korea and strongly supported the Trans-Pacific Partnership to expand free trade across Asia. But Trump's decision to withdraw from the TPP, his threats to leave NAFTA, and now his continuing desire to launch so-called good trade wars, even with our allies, will lead to long-term economic decline and weaken our wonderful nation. I believe in peace through strength. And that's why after September 11th, I joined the army and subsequently deployed with an infantry combat brigade in Afghanistan. And that's why I'm so disturbed by Trump's repeated callousness to the select few of our citizens who volunteer to defend our nation with their lives from ridiculing John McCain's service as a POW in Vietnam to trivializing the grief of Gold Star mothers who lost their children in the service of our country. Trump's actions are indicative of a man simply ignorant of honor and true sacrifice. And I believe in the free market. Like Trump, I too am a graduate of the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Finance. Unlike Trump, however, I oppose favoring corporations based on their political relationship to the president. That is exactly the sort of so-called socialist style intervention meddling that leads to economic ruin. Most of all, I have long believed that our government leaders must lead by example. Character counts. Civility is an inner trait of true character. Trump's belittling of Republican Senator Jeff Flake and immature name-calling of Republican Senator Bob Corker reflect the weakness of character. Trump's penchant for conspiracy theories, such as assertion that Republican Senator Ted Cruz's father was involved in the assassination of JFK, is simply disturbing. His poorly constructed stream of conscious tweets are not only immature, but provide real harm to the stability of our democracy. As President George W. Bush recently lamented, bullying and prejudice in our public life sets a national, national tone, provides permission for cruelty and bigotry and compromise in the moral education of our children. The only way to pass along civic values is to first live up to them. And so today, I ask you to join me like so many other conservatives and to say the time is change is now and that we cannot continue along in this immature, name-calling, unfocused, undisciplined leadership of Donald Trump. A little over 100 years ago, former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill abandoned the Conservative Party. Churchill had believed in free trade, strong defense, and capitalism. And when the Conservative Party turned away from these principles, Churchill placed his principles ahead of politics. He articulated his conviction years later with the declaration, never give in, never give in, never, 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 nothing, great or small or petty, never give in except for the convictions of honor and good sense. And with that, I humbly ask you to follow me and make the Trump administration a one-term administration.